Hi everyone, welcome to weekly online lectures. I am your online tutor AG. In this channel you can watch all accounting and management accounting lectures. I have uploaded various problems relating to accounting and management accounting. So if you like the videos and if you consider that these lectures are going to be useful to you, so what you can do is you can subscribe to my channel to receive weekly updates on lectures. And not only that, if you have any difficult questions, please comment below. I will answer to all your questions. Today I am going to discuss about financial accounting and reporting fundamentals, executive level, paper KE1, March 2016 uh, questions. So this is the section 2, question number 3. I'll start from that. The first question is uh, all about control accounts. It's all about control accounts. So let's uh, go through the question, then we will try to answer these two uh, questions. First one, Pearl Private Limited maintains a manual accounting system. It also maintains a control account for its trade receivables. Okay, this is regarding trade receivables. Trade receivable control account balance as at 31st December 2015 was 595,600. So 31st December balance was 595,600. However, the total of the sub-ledger account balances Okay, the subsidiary ledger, receivable ledger, where you get individual account balances, did not tally with the control account, did not tally with the control account balance. Subsequent investigation revealed the following. Okay, so the control account balance was not matching with individual balances. Okay, in the control account is the total is a total account. Total account represents all the individual balances. Whereas in the receivable ledger, you will get all the individual customer-wise balances. Okay. So what are the reasons for the uh, mismatching? So let's go through it. A credit note sent by Pearl to one of its customers for 10500 being a rebate for damaged goods was wrongly recorded in the sub-ledger account as 15,000. So what has happened here? In the sub-ledger, which means the individual account balances in the sub-ledger was not correctly recorded. Okay, so instead of 10,500, they recorded as 15,000. So therefore, uh, the credit note the credit note means the goods return to the customers. So when you return goods to the customer, what you will do? The receivable balance, this is the receivable account, you will credit. Okay, so you have credited the receivable balance uh, by 15,000. So 4,500 you have over credited in the sub-ledger whereas in the control account the control account the balance was correctly posted so 10,500 you understand so therefore we don't need to do any adjustment on the control account whereas we need to make an adjustment in the sub-ledger please remember that the second uh, reason for the difference Discount allowed to a particular customer of 4,500 was correctly entered in the sub-ledger account but recorded 5,400 in control account. So where the mistake has happened? In the control account, not in the sub-ledger. So control account is wrong but sub ledger is correctly posted okay by how much 
discount allowed so discount allowed means at the time of receiving cash from a customer okay you allow discount to the customers so when you allow discount to the customer so what will happen so uh, let's let's say you have a receivable balance of uh, 5000 and you received 4000 this is a receivable account okay so you received 4000 so you will debit the bank account okay and you will credit the receivable account so there is a difference okay so this is known as discount allowed so discount allowed has to be credited to the receivable account or the individual account and it should be debited to the discount allowed account so what has happened here discount allowed to a particular customer 4500 was correctly entered in the sub ledger account but con but recorded for 5400 in the control account so if you when you take the control account so control account gets the total balances okay instead of 4500 they have recorded it as 5400 which means 900 uh, credited more okay so that is the second part third one an amount due from a customer David of 46,000 has been omitted from the list of receivable sub ledger balances so when you take the sub ledger balances so the total of 46,000 has been omitted whereas this 46,000 transaction has been correctly recorded in the control account so there is no adjustment required in the control account but sub ledger is wrong you need to make an adjustment in the sub ledger fourth uh, reason an amount of 12,540 received from a customer Aruna was wrongly posted to Varuna's account in the sub ledger so as a result of this particular transaction will there be an impact either on the control account or the sub ledger account no there won't be an impact because this is like a compensating error an amount of 12540 received from a customer Aruna was wrongly posted to Varuna's account instead of recording it under Aruna however it was recorded in the Varuna's account so however the Varuna's account balance will be wrong but the transaction wise the transaction has been uh, the double entry was correct posted correctly you understand so therefore there is no impact uh, on the control account or the sub ledger account but in the sub ledger you need to uh, make the error between Aruna to Varuna from Varuna's account to Aruna's account you need to make the entry last one a credit sales of 24,400 was entered in the sales day book as 42,400 but correctly entered in the sub ledger account so when you make credit sales first of all the all credit sales will be recorded under sales day book then the sales day book the total will be transferred to the control account and individual balances will be transferred to the sub account this is the process so credit sales of 24400 was entered in the sales day book so it was correctly posted in the sales day book uh, sorry it was entered in the sales book as 42400 so which means how much has been recorded more 18000 18000 is more but correctly entered in the sub ledger so sub ledger is correct but control account is wrong because control account when you record the total credit sales you need to debit the uh, receivable 
customer account you should uh, credit the sales account so when you take the control account control account has to be uh, debited with 24400 whereas you have recorded 42400 therefore your debit side is more by 18000 okay so this this is the uh, these are the errors that they found uh, when they reconcile the balances now let's move on to the uh, question what is required compute the correct trade receivable control account balance as at 31st December 2015 okay now you are given the balance 595,600 okay so from these five points okay you need to pick the uh, the items which will have an impact on the control account the receivable control account not on the sub ledger okay so you are required to prepare a control account balance okay so we'll start with uh, the opening balance uh, you can prepare this on a vertical format as well as T format I will show you the first first of all I will show you the T format this is the receivable control account okay so receivable control account balance brought forward is how much 595 600 595 600 okay now from this identify what are the impacts okay first one is not impacting the control account control account is correct second one the discount allowed one what has happened the control account is wrong okay by how much by 900 900 rupees which is more so you have credited more in order to rectify this what you should do you need to debit so the debit sales day book 42400 but correctly entered in the sub ledger so as a result of that the day book mistake the total posting to the control account is wrong so you would have debited 42,400 instead of 24,400 so it was uh, more by the receivable balance is more by 18,000 so in order to rectify this what you should do you should credit this 18,000 okay this is sales credit sales okay adjustment 18,000 so therefore those are the only adjustments that you need to make so therefore what is the answer you can do it in horizontal format as well so 0 0 5 6 5 96 500 5 96 500 so it will be 8 8 16 1 2 plus 7 578 500 so this should be the correct balance so if you are doing it on vertical format so what you can do is you can take the balance brought forward uh, 595 600 you can add the balance uh, you can add the credit note 900 and you can list the credit sales 18,000 and you will get 596 500 both way you will get the same answer is that clear okay now we'll move on to the second part identify the total of the individual account balances before adjustments by preparing the reconciliation statement this is very very important you understand the question 
identify the total of the individual account balances before adjustments you understand before adjustments by preparing the reconciliation statement okay so you are required to identify the total account balances before making the adjustments so now we know what should be the correct balance the correct balance should be this 596 500 okay now before this before the adjustment what should be the balance this is what you need to identify sorry uh, this is uh, this should be uh, I made a mistake this should be what is that 578 500 okay this should be the correct balance you understand so I simply I took this balance as the closing balance but which is wrong so when you total this you will get 578 500 which is the same as this okay now so this is the correct balance based on the control account it, 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 it should match with the subsidiary ledger but before the reconciliation what was the balance in the subsidiary ledger this is what we have we have to find out okay so let's start from 578 500 so i will start with uh, this one opening balance okay so adjusted balance 578 500 okay now go and check the mistakes done in the subsidiary ledger the first one is control account second one is subsidiary ledger so what has happened discount allowed to a particular customer of 4500 was correctly recorded in the sub ledger account but recorded sorry the first one a credit note sent by pearl to one of its customers for 10500 being a rebate for damaged goods was wrongly recorded in the sub ledger account 15000 so in the sub ledger account what has happened sub ledger account has been uh, credited by 4500 okay so in order to get the uh, amount before the adjustment okay you need to minus this from the total amount in order to find out the adjusted balance and also 46,000 which was omitted completely from the subsidiary ledger sub ledger 46,000 has to be removed to get the adjustment before balance before adjustments so thereby you will get the balance of 528,000. So this will be the answer for the second part. Now let's move on to the uh, question number four.